Hi, Jesse here. Uh, you know, you may know me from now, you know, but apparently I'm an orthopedic surgeon now. Uh, this is the knee replacement that I just successfully did. Um, and uh, you can check that all out next on Disruptive Investing. Okay, so uh, Dr. Doug. Yeah. I have a magic wand. Yes, you do. Um, we have a real leg with a knee bone. That's a knee bone. Is connected, connected to, the... to the leg bone. <laughs> um, a plus. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that anatomy <laughs> lesson. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is registering this bone. Now, we right. already took a CT scan of the bone. So right. you have a 3D model of both leg bones. Right. Um, and then... Let's call it the thigh bone and the shin bone. Let's go for that. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, so the robot, it, it knows kind of the cuts that it's going to want to do, but it doesn't know where the bones are. Exactly. Okay. So what we're trying to do is basically we need to tell it, we need to tell the computer and the robot where this bone is in three dimensional space so that it correlates it to the scan, the CT scan that's in its system. Okay. And so over there we have a camera set up, which is looking at these uh, right. balls on my magic wand and is also looking at uh, these balls uh, that are directly connected to the leg bone. Right. So, the, and these are the key, the nice thing about bone is that it's rigid. So we can put these, these arrays in with pins and they don't move. Okay. So they are fixed in space. They are a fixed object. And you've as also a reference point. fixed both of these bones with pins as well. Exactly. Okay. Just so the bone doesn't move. It makes the saw cut more efficiently because okay. a vibrating saw doesn't like vibrating bone. Okay. And these, these arrays are very similar to what is used in the movie business to do like CGI, where you see the actors in the jumpsuits with all the little balls on them. Mm -hmm. It's the same technology, basically. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> now I'm going to take uh, this magic wand. Yep. And I'm going to register the knee. So we're taking the surface of this uh, knee, of this thigh bone. Yep. Yep. And uh, we're going to be registering it a lot, uh, basically uh, meshing it with the model that we have. So you're gonna, you're gonna collect enough points to create a cloud of points mm -hmm. that our math will essentially figure out, okay, this cloud of point can only be oriented in this one way to make it match with this CT scan. So that's wow. what you're doing. So that way we're marrying the CT scan with physical reality and then this physical sagittal saw can make the cuts onto this physical bone using the digital model. It's fourth industrial revolution wow. stuff, man. Wow. wow. So by, by giving it this ballpark based on what you can see, it allows us to collect fewer points to create that cloud. So Because if we didn't have that, and I were to just collect points, it's thinking like, is the bone over here? Exactly. Is the bone over here? And we're taking away all of that math and saying like, no, no, the points are not gonna, like the bone's not here. Right. The bone is, just about in, here. In the neighborhood. And so I'm trying to match it up using augmented reality. Yep. And I'm also physically going to touch the bone itself. That's right. Wow, okay. And it's, it's um, you know, so we can get away with 12 points per bone. Mm -hmm. Most systems out there are like 40 points per bone. So we need a lot fewer points because we are doing this step. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna get this roughly in the right uh, orientation. Yep. And uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, in advance, one more time, click it one more time. All right, and so that looks good, and then we'll go to the next one. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm gonna be doing is registering points. Right, and you wanna spread these points out, because again, that cloud is more effective if the points are spread out in different orientations. Okay. You don't wanna cluster them in one area. All right, so I'm actually gonna go through the cartilage to touch the bone. Right. And the reason you have to do that is because we have a CAT scan which doesn't see the cartilage. It only oh, wow. sees the bone. So that looks good. You, you'd be a good orthopedic resident. If Except your knuckles don't work drag out. enough. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> I concur. Yes. Yep. I do like the sound because now I don't even have to look at the... So you're at seven points. Okay. Get this area in the front of the femur too. Okay. There you go. They get a few couple Sorry, points there. Right in here. Yep. Oh, I'm not. There we go. 
Okay, you got it. Okay. Am I in? Thank you. It's, it's seeing it. Oh, there like you go. It. That's nine. Okay, good. It didn't beep for some reason. Maybe it's something here. Ten. Okay, one more point. Oh, baby. Nice. You did it. So now That's it's it. matched up the the digital model with physical reality and now these points these balls in space are telling it exactly where the surface is exactly and so when we go to make our cuts it's going to be making those cuts just according to the ct scan exactly right and wow. it allows us to really dial that plan in based on this patient's anatomy wow so, the angle the access, so you put okay. it a little bit here okay and you're looking to see on that view, rotation, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Like about there, and also angle. And I'm going to help you in this plane, so okay. I'm just going to tell you it looks good. Maybe okay. just a little bit, if you look at me, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Love it. And then there, and you could just tell him, we like it. I like it. And he'll register for you. Nice. Without having to hit the... Nice. Cool. Okay. So go ahead and get, get your points. Next button, hit. Okay. All right, so same same deal here. Huh? Same yep. Deal. And sometimes also using both hands to sort of stabilize it. So okay. You take your right hand. It's mm -hmm. sort of easy to sort of walk it around. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was like that scene from Ghost where they're like doing the pottery That's together. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you do all along in here? I'll yeah, get the front of the bone. Nice. Okay, nine points. Get that whole front face there. Yeah, you get a bunch of points there. That's nice bone. Can you rotate this to see the image? There you go. That's it. And even on the outside, there he is. He did it. Nice. Woo, very nicely done. All right, good job. So I'm a surgeon now? Yeah. You're a surgeon. We'll get you your wings later. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Jesse, what are you dressing up as a surgeon for? Uh, surgery. What? I thought you had your little fun, you registered the leg. No, I'm gonna do the, the actual surgery now. Oh, are you? Yeah, I mean, we've okay. been here for about uh, eight hours. I think I'm ready You've to You've absorbed do... all of it? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been under the, uh, you know, watch of two amazing surgeons. And, okay. and I mean... So that's your residency, your eight-hour <laughs> residency. Great. And uh, now we have a robot, so... All right. Uh, all how right. many fingers do you have? Here we go. Ten okay. fingers. And uh, wish me luck. Good luck. Okay, so, so now we're going to do an actual cut on some bone. Correct. And I'm going to be driving the robot. Correct. And you're going to be retracting... I'm going to be keeping it out of the soft tissue, including your fingers. Okay, so I'm going to keep my fingers out of the way, and we're going to get this started. So we're ready to go. There you go. Here we go. They released it from Science Fair in terms of being able to video Wait, so you're doing that with your foot? So right now with my foot, I'm able to tell it to go. I can, looks like it can also slow it way down. Oh, so, it's like an accelerometer. So like, you know, if, if my hands were in there, I could be slowing it down yeah. and I could be speeding it up. Now, can I also retract? You peel, put your heel down on your crew. See how it goes back? So I can make it go back too. That's right. Okay. And it will not cut where there is no plan to cut. Yeah. But if something gets in the way, it will hit that. Yes. Okay. Are we ready? Go for it. Here we go. See on the monitor, yep. the path of the bone. And, and so I can adjust the speed. You can adjust the speed, yeah. And so now if I wanted to come back, I could come back. Bring your heel, yep. Yeah. And it retracts. Correct. Okay, so it's going straight in. Is that the type of cut you normally do? You just kind of straight in? That means it knows it's there, but it's Oh, because you'd have it in a jig. It's like, hey, because you'd have it in a jig, right? Stop cutting. 
to the edge, you can see on the bone. Yep. Right where it is. And we know of where the, the ligament is. Yep. It's protecting it and sliding over. Wow. And that is uh, that's an amazing feature of this robot. What it just did. That is not easy to do manually. Yeah. Okay, so now we're doing a completely different angle plunge cut. Sure. Okay. And again, part of part of uh, learning um, how to design this is to make sure that all of these pins we place to stabilize the knee don't get in the way of the robot. Yeah. So there's a lot of um, engineering that goes involved that, you know, you'd actually seen today, how do we develop it? Yeah. <laughs> it goes in a little easier than I thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This instrumentation is so old. Yeah. For this implant. Yeah. It's not the slippy stuff. Good. You can, you can take that whole thing off. Okay. Perfect. And then let's put oh, yeah. our plastic old in. specimen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that thing is just going to pop in there. That's how you put it on the right side. I'm just going to kind of oh. pop that in and yeah, shoot it CH. That's it, you got it. Wow. Usually this is a pattern. Too. And that wouldn't work for what you need them for? Such, like such? Okay. Bring it in. But it is possible. Okay. 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 And this whole thing unscrews. Okay. 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 More? A little bit more, but you're looking good. Perfect. Okay, so now this is what Wow. It's pretty good. So nice and straight. So that's a knee surgery. Yeah. That's a knee surgery. So you know, and it's okay. nice so and balanced. Uh, really? So wow. It's nice snug all the way yeah. through. Okay. And so, so that's a perfect knee. No, no way. Shit. No shit. That is a perfect knee because it's it's nice and straight. Yep. And a lot of times with a manual knee, what you'll see is when you start going through, you'll see it like wiggle waggle it. Uh -huh. But you can see as I'm stressing it, there is really no play to it. So this patient's going to be able to play basketball. Oh my God. Not this one. But I just used a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last tool I used was a hammer. He's going to play basketball in heaven. Very nice. Wow. But, and you got very uh, minimal shots so here. Perfect. Uh -huh. perfect. Uh, wow. That's, that's really, that's what you want. All right. Good job, <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I did a knee surgery. <laughs>